When is it okay to cheat? Uh, I would say, I, say so? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Never. If I, if I, you would have to get permission, obviously. Well, that's not. Then that's cheating. That doesn't really make sense. That's true. Stupid. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said to me. It's okay. Though. Thanks. I'm not trying. Well, this is gonna be on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> Can you scratch that? Can you that was a really genuine moment Can right there. Yeah, that's a little bit suspicious, my guy. That's an unexpected reaction from a woman. We all know how women would react to this question. I don't know, and I'm not complaining. If she's telling the truth, that's a trophy girl right there. But that reaction seems like she's doing some shady stuff behind the scene. I don't know. I might be wrong. What do you guys think? Men don't often share their feelings because they end up just upsetting their woman. And then they're left to console their woman on her feelings because of how his feelings made her feel. Yeah, listen! Why should women always be the people that try to understand what you guys think? Why can't you guys try to understand what the fuck we're trying to... Ain't nobody got time for that. Because you don't know what the fuck you think from day to day. Why do you think that, though? Because... Because we're fucking no, women no, no, and because, because we're stupid no, as fuck? What the hell? Because you change your mind. No, it's from because day, we're, it's like we we're said, chemically different every right. single day. Every single day we are different. A whole but that's cycle. a hard pill to swallow, right? I bet you can explain this to her in the nicest way possible. And she still wouldn't get it. Just because of how it made her feel. That's why I don't like debating with people who are overly emotional about everything. And the best thing to do when you interact with someone like that is just to end the conversation. Keeping your peace of mind is better than arguing with people with thick skulls. Women often talk about hormones influencing their emotions and behavior. Why are there some women who shame men for being horny when testosterone is a male hormone? These interview questions seem super sexist and I'm not gonna continue this. These questions seem sexist? Bumbo card. Yeah, you don't know what that is. It's the new card for women nowadays. It's called I'm gonna use anything against you to not make me look stupid card. Plus a little bit of sexism shaming tactics. Fucking ridiculous. Now, if the genders were reversed, this would go south really quick. But women can do this and still get away with it. Listen, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was playful. And I still see it that way. But I'm just making an example out of it. Because 9 out of 10, if this was the other way around, y'all know what's gonna happen. She's a 10, but she always got a fucking attitude. And she always thinks she's right. And she always wants to fucking argue. And then if she don't ever get her way, she throws a fit and starts crying. Or just doesn't talk to me. And she's always fucking hungry. But when I ask her what the fuck she wants to eat, she, she don't know what the fuck she want to eat. Who, get, who am I talking about? I bet she got crazy angry comments from feminists on this video talking about how controlling that is. The way I see it, if I tell my girl to cut ties with some boy best friend, she should be able to. Simple as that. For the first time ever. Oh yeah? You made this? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way you made this. Sure did. Oh wow. What is this? It's tacos. This is so good. <laughs> you scared me. Do you even want? to hang out. Do you even want to hang out? Oh, let's consider it. Like I said, whatever. Like I said, whatever? F this guy. Jesus, you are priceless. Ah, you're the one who's priceless. You want to go right now? Huh? Guess I could do that. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go. He said, okay. Okay, let's go. All right, you know what? 
You know what? You want a real this is a perfect example of miscommunication. I just find the acting hilarious. Top notch acting. She looks like she has a bright future in acting. What if I actually slept with your dad? And you'd be a dirty bitch, bruv, because my dad's on drugs. Oh, really? So that's my, my dad's a crackhead, bruv, so, boy, your life is a mad thing. <laughs> I'm just curious uh, what your top three favourite countries are. Let's see, uh... Bruh. Paris. Bumbaka! Bro, Paris is a part of the US. Bumbaka! <laughs> Joe Biden is the president of Paris. Hold on though, I, I forget what state is Paris in because you said Paris is in the US. Oh. Do you remember? Oh. Paris is in London and Joe Biden is the president of London and Paris. I mean, what's there to say? Soon enough they'll be telling you that Africa is on Mars or something and Jupiter is a continent. Take a look at this sexism in the WNBA. It says pay women properly. You know, because the WNBA, the league that's losing money, doesn't pay their women enough. And on the other side over here, it says if you ain't got it, just say that. Buddy, the WNBA don't got it. Now imagine you go on a date with this woman and you tell her to split the bill and she's like, that's not gentleman-like. And you tell her this exact sense, how you think she's gonna react? I mean, take any woman on a date and ask them to split the bill and they, they probably gonna say this to you. The nerve of some women, man. The NBA has been financially supporting the WNBA for years and this is how they get repaid. Imagine giving a ton of money and support to somebody and then they just spit in your face afterwards. When will some of you women learn? The women in the WNBA are getting more and more delusional with time. Bill Burr did a fantastic job explaining it. I'm gonna leave the video here for you guys. Go watch it and comment your thoughts in the comment section. But that being said, this stuff always comes back to the performance. You should be paid for your performance and how much money you bring in into the business. Simple as that. I'm gonna, uh, I've got my friends here from, from Sweden. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put an end to this because, uh, and the reason I'm gonna say that, okay, is that, as I've said, if you're unable to understand the, the, the means at which men are privileged in society over women... You're telling me I'm oppressed? Sorry? You're telling me I'm oppressed? Sorry? What, do you... you're, you're explaining my oppression to me? Do you feel oppressed? No. Would you guys take 500k to never speak to your boyfriend or girlfriend again? Yeah. You would? Yeah. There was no hesitation there at all whatsoever. What about you? I'd take less. <laughs> Wait, what's the minimum you take to never speak to your partner again? 100k. Uh, set me up for a little bit. I can get another like 10 bitches. I'm good. Damn, really? Yeah. Facts. Plenty of fish in the sea, as they say. Wow. Hey, man, get your bag. And my boyfriend, not my husband. It's just a guy. That's why I'm still single. I can go to Amsterdam and have a good time for like a few months on that money. Saying you're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to collect STDs like Pokemon, fam. Oh my goodness.